Hey, but it's Sam back once again, and today's video, we're gonna show you the message app on the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. We're gonna show you the customization options and all that kind of good stuff that we've seen in previous Galaxies. Are you ready for this? Let's get into it. So I wanna to go to my message app. Now, I've got, obviously, I've got my messages there, which I'm gonna blur out for you now, but we're gonna jump in to our settings. So you tap the top, click settings, and then ba-boom, this is your options. So you can turn notifications on or off within the app, which is pretty cool if you want to use a third party app. You use Facebook or something like that, you can use that. You then got backgrounds. So your standard one looks like that. But you want to change it, you want to have that. So like, well, hey, that looks pretty cool. Now how about that? So you only get a couple of them, but you can choose your own. So you can choose anything that's in there. So let's say I want to use one of these desktop wallpapers I've downloaded. So let's say I want to use this bad boy. You can choose the portion that you want. So say we want to zoom out, click done. That is now my background within my messages. Looks pretty cool, huh? Let's go back out of there. You can then change your quick responses. So you can enter a quick response with regards to if somebody messages you and you're in cinema, you could have like, okay, sorry, I'm in the cinema, I'll call you back later. Have that as a quick response. That is invaluable. Or you can change certain things. Let's say you want to put as, I think, if I'm not mistaken, like lol, it could be a quick response. I mean, you might not want it as a quick response, but you can use it as a quick response. If you want to delete it, you can do. Let's go back out of here. You got block messages, so you can block people. So if anyone's trying to harass you or like that, you can block their messages, not a problem at all. For some reason, this caller ID and spam protection, it's not working for me. Um, it used to work on the S7, so I'm not too sure if it's something because I'm in a different country right now. But currently, not working at all. You can change the font size. So you can use the phone. Alternatively, you can have it tiny or extra large. I keep it as the phone, personally, but you can change it. You can make it bigger or smaller. You then got some more settings, which I always find weird. You got settings and then more settings within there. Just seems really strange. You then got your text messages. You can have delivery reports on, uh, manage the SIM card messages, so you can save messages to the SIM card still. Don't do it, it's old school. You got your message center and your input mode. You got multimedia messages, exactly the same as text, but just for multimedia. Push, me push messages, um, down as never. So if you tap into here, you can load push services. You can choose never, prompt, or always. So I always keep it as, as a never. Let's go back out of this one. We've got broadcast channels. But honestly, I don't use any of this stuff. I never, I never change it. Um, I don't know, I honestly don't know what that is. You know, I'm a bit of a tech guy, but this kind of stuff, never decided to ever use it. So if I click select channels, what's it gonna be? You mean, add a channel? What am I adding? There's just nothing to add. So, yeah, I should probably look into it a bit more, but never really interested me. Delete all messages. So if you tap into there, so if you were uh, tapping into there, sorry, you can have it on or off. So when you reach a thousand text messages or a hundred multimedia, it'll start deleting those. I recommend having that on there unless you're one of those people that keeps every text forever. You got show uh, web, web, uh, show web previews. So show previews of websites linked in the chats. So as soon as they send you a link to Facebook or something, you might show the Facebook logo saying welcome to Facebook and all that kind of stuff. Split view, so you split screen into two, uh, two parts in the landscape view. So we'll show you that's where you turn it sideways and it will show you side by side. Make sense? Yeah. You then got about messages. Just shows you the version you're on, what message version you're on and all that. And that's it. So unlike previous uh, models, there's not as many customization options. It's pretty much it. Again, you can go to the background, you can have any background you want. So let's say if I go out of here, let's say I create a new message and obviously I'm in here. I mean, that's pretty much all you can kind of see now. You don't really get in many other like the chat bubbles. You can't change them. You can add different things. So if you tap on that, you can add screenshots and images and stuff like that. Obviously, untick that. You go to these and you can get all your little uh, emojis or emoticons or whatever you want to call it. And again, there's quite a few of them, so you can kind of go through them forever. And that's pretty much it. I mean, have a look up here. What's up there? You've got quick responses, which we showed you earlier. Uh, schedule messages, add a subject, create a slideshow. Not really things that I think people are using for text messages nowadays. For me personally, text pretty much dead. I use WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and other clients because I got people around the world and it's not free to text them in other countries. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it, people. That is the message app 
the customizations and the settings on the brand new Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Not as many options as previously. Personally, it doesn't really bother me because I don't, again, I don't use text that often. I'm only using them now and again for people um, that are generally of a certain generation and don't know what WhatsApp is or Facebook, Messenger, etc., etc. Anyway, people, if you have any questions with regards to this or anything else you know what to do by now, you can hit me up in a comment down below. If you are new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. It is very much appreciated. And you can check out any of my previous videos on screen right about now. If you want to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, all the links are down below. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. And hopefully see me. Well, if you don't see me, you'll definitely hear me in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.